Have you ever bought a part for your motorcycle and thought, that is the stupidest sh So here's an example of six stupid, irrelevant, not quite useful, kind of cool things that I put on this 690 that you should maybe reconsider. Coming in at the number one spot, and probably for good reason, would be the parts that I purchased from Amazon. Like these foot pegs that don't actually fit this bike, but they sort of fit this bike, and well, they don't really act as foot pegs. Ah! And then you've got an oil fill cap, which doesn't really work. It kind of works. There's sometimes an oil drip or two, but the problem is that the threads go all the way to the top of this washer area and that O-ring can't sit properly. So uh, yeah, not a good choice. But the cap for the rear brake fluid actually works really pretty well, as well as the two on the clutch and brake reservoirs. So. Yeah, I just would never buy anything from Amazon to put on this bike. Another one would have to be the plastic dip on the wheels. Now, it looks awesome when you're going down the road and it's cheap and you can do it at home and it's something that really transforms the looks of this bike, but it's impossible to clean. And whenever I try to use my actual wheel cleaner, it just scrapes it off. But since it is white, it picks up so much road dirt, grime, dust from the brake pads, from the chain, especially on the rear, that it just starts to look like absolute crap. So you just tend to either respray it or end up replasty dipping your wheels once or twice a season to keep it looking fresh. If you're gonna do it temporarily to test out the look, great. If you're doing it for long term, I would not recommend. Now you see a lot of carbon fiber pieces on bikes, like here and here and here and here, but does it really do anything besides look good? I mean, it is protective and don't get me wrong, but the fact that I've spent over a thousand dollars just on carbon fiber pieces for this motorcycle, I think is almost irrelevant. Uh, skid plate, do you really need it on the road? No. Uh, crankcase, cover, mm, swing arm guards, Definitely not. This huge exhaust carbon fiber piece, maybe, maybe not. But I think, especially if you're first starting out and you're just getting into modifying the 690, I would stay away from all the carbon fiber pieces. You can waste your money in plenty other better places, especially like an SCS Delete kit, or an intake with Ducati throttle spacers, or a lot of the other things that will really transform this bike and make it a lot more fun to ride, other than just look good. But at the end of the day, I do want it to look good. And well, another big complaint that I would say would be the Supermoto Fool's headlight. Now this is the Ghost Edition, so when the key's on and you have your running light, it's just this little LED strip here. But then if you actually want a headlight, you've got to turn on your brights and uh, yeah, look out, it's very bright. Which is great at night, but if you're riding during the day and you want some, time, some kind of daytime running light, you have to ride with your high beam on. Lights? And when you ride with your high beam on, your little blue light on the dash is always on and that's just annoying to me. I really wish they had a two-tone light, but at the same time, I guess you get what you get. It does look cool though. Which brings me to the mirrors. Now I've made a whole video on these specific mirrors and how I set them up and how they work and what they look like when riding on the street. But in all reality, they absolutely suck. I would not suggest these for any sort of visibility. I would only suggest these for the excuse of, I need mirrors on my motorcycle to ride legally. They're just not good. They give you this whole 180 degree view, but in reality, you can't see the things that are very important, which is a good distance between a car to your left or to your right, which I think is far more important than the looks in this situation. And finally, last but not least, would have to be this rear brake pedal. Uh, it's just, I don't know, kind of a waste of money to me. So this one ended up costing me $214, if you remember me breaking a bolt in the assembly back here. Uh, but essentially for $178, it's 
cool. Uh, it looks good, but you don't really notice any performance difference. I guess the benefit is that you get to change out these specific pedals out here. So you can make them longer, taller, whatever you want to do. That's fine and dandy. But other than that, I don't really notice it, you know, because I do wheelies so much. I'm afraid, all right? You want to hear me say it? You want to break me down? All right, I'm afraid. But you may ask the question, you've already put these things on your motorcycle. How can you complain about them now or tell me not to put them on my motorcycle? Are you going to take them off your motorcycle? And well, the reality is I'm probably not because I actually enjoy the look of the carbon fiber and the mirrors, they are cool, but not effective. So I just turn my head. The headlight, I mean, is what it is. Just ride right on and, you know, get used to the little notification on the dash. But at the same time, I wanted to make this video to at least be as transparent as possible with some of these modifications. Do you need them? Absolutely not. Are they gonna make the ride any more fun? Probably not. Will they increase the look and maybe how you look at your motorcycle and enjoy it? Maybe, but there's much better things that you could spend your money on and I previously put that in another video that I'll put up here somewhere uh, of the best things to purchase for your 690 SMCR. So at the end of the day, it's your bike, it's your choices, it's your money, but start with the things that actually make a difference performance wise and put more of a smile on your face when you're riding and then focus on the looks later on down the road. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions about this motorcycle or any other things on this channel, please leave it in the comments below and I'll try to make a video for you in explaining it even deeper. Uh, and yeah, and hope you enjoyed it. And remember, keep riding.